All right, what up, YouTube? Got a uh, project today. I'm gonna be pulling out this uh, power feeder. About a few months ago, it's a big one. It's a uh, three phase. I'll look at the motor when I pull it out, but it's sitting back here. Um, been sitting for a few months. I have a big, uh, big order coming up where I need to be ripping a whole bunch of pressure treated stuff. I'm trying to mount it on this big table saw over here. Uh, looks like this thing has been drilled um, for for a power feeder over here. And the holes actually line up with that mount, with the uh, power feeder uh, mounting base over there. But I don't have anything that'll fit that. And also, I don't really want it on this side. I want it on this side of the table saw. So that's that's my plan. I want it over here because I want to keep it the uh, this area open for um, stuff coming from that table saw this direction. And then, with it being here, I'll be ripping 2x12 or 2x10, 2x6 material. Um, this you know this direction and when it's over here it shouldn't be it shouldn't be in the way um that's the plan it's a uh it's a three-phase machine and uh i actually bought a vfd for it a few months ago and then i got this uh the buffer back here which i've been using using it for but tonight i'll run an extension cord or whenever i get to it i run an extension cord in fact there's already a big cord coming from this thing it may make it out there but i use the power of this little uh, pedestal buffer um, so that I'll use that VFD for both things I'm guessing um, that's the plan dig that thing out drill and tap the table get it mounted first I'll make sure the thing works I bought it from a dude um, I haven't even had it he didn't have it hooked up and I haven't seen it running I know there's a broken base on it but I, I've had it clamped down with just some woodworking clamps and it held so that's that's my uh plan i'll film what's going on here we go okay that thing kicked my ass <laughs> There you go. You see how big that damn thing is. Let me get the blower and blow it off. Alright. So. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This thing is huge. This is a 16-inch joiner. Anything's a monster. I've looked at it, but I don't even know much about it. Give it a quick look over. Um, here's the broken, broken base mount, but three big old bolts will hold this thing down pretty good. I'm, I'm thinking. Whew, I get my breath back. I usually, uh, in the past when I moved it around, it's just been kicking around the shop. I take this off. I move them as two separate units, but and let's see. Here we go. What do we got? It's a three quarter horsepower, three phase, two hundred twenty volt, sixty cycles. So that's exactly what my uh, VFD in there will do. There's a switch here, switches up here. So I've actually I've never used a power feeder, so I be learning learning how to use this thing. That thing's a it's heavy. It is a Damn, it's heavy. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna carry it over here to the table saw. I put his blade down. All right, that thing is heavy. Looking around, I know I'm gonna need new wheels. I knew that when I bought it. Wheels are wore out. It's been some repaired here somehow. Looks like it's been welded. Um, all the adjustments work. I know that the screws in here with these wheels. 
so let's see I think I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna take it apart and first I'm gonna just mount this base right here and then uh or at least take it apart and yeah if I mount it I can lift it up and then make sure to make sure the damn thing works first of all so it's got some knobs and all kind of stuff I need to figure out what they do first I'm gonna take this uh mounting base off of this just make sure logistically it's going to work if I mount it here. I'm not sure. It ought to, but I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Take, for, yeah, take this off. Then the thing will be manageable. Easier to move. I got it out. What a pain in the ass. It's nasty in there. Probably be good to clean that thing out. So, let's keep going. All right, here's my train of thought. Um, The way this is swivel, this swivels on this base, on this right here, which is not swiveling good now, but it it has to be mounted on this side, I'm thinking. Unless I turn this whole casting around down here. Because you see, this is as far as it can go this direction. And if I mount it right here, it needs to twist even more. So I'm thinking it need, has to go right here. Um maybe wrong but that's what i'm thinking i'm gonna, I'm gonna mark. all right i got it wired up <clears throat> i'm not sure how i gotta figure out the uh, switches over there but it's working once one direction turn it off Other direction. Yeah, there's all kind of, okay. Zero. Two. It's got arrows down here, which direction? One. Not sure what one does, because the wheels aren't spinning. Zero's off. Two. But now nothing's happening on the wheels. There we go. Engage it. I think this is a clutch of some kind. That's fast. Neutral. Slow. So, anyway. It is wired up. I'm about to uh, drill and tap this. I've got, like I said, I got the, uh, the other holes were... Something else was mounted here. It's got to be a power feeder on a big table saw, right? Um, so I'm going to mount this here. Square it up as good best I can. It's not that big of a deal. It's an old table saw. It's beat up. It actually has a crack in the... Uh, right here is a crack in the table. Um, I've got it as flat as flat as I can. This thing isn't doing anything for precision anyways. It's ripping uh, pressure treated stuff for uh, outdoor porch swings. Soaking wet wood. So it's going to warp anyways change anyways but so i say that to, to to say that i'm not worried about a new hole on this tabletop if it was a different like the uh unisaw over there i may be definitely a little more cautious but i'm not wor real worried about drilling some holes in this and tapping it um 
So I'm gonna mark it. Like I guess I got three holes to drill. This one, this corner piece is busted off. I got three holes to drill and tap, mount it, and uh, see if I can't muscle that thing back in. This is not ideal um, because it's directly in the way of this table saw. I use a, uh, I try to just use that table saw for ripping, and this one, I keep this big old dado, I keep a uh, dado blade on it. Um, but we'll see. More about just getting this uh, power feeder mounted and running. That, that's more what this is about. Eh. Make our uh, work a little more accurate, a little more, a uh, little, little uh, easier on us. So that's what that's that's what I'm about to do. Drill, tap these. I got a uh, big old. It's a uh, half 13 tap. I don't have the right built drill bit. I have a uh, couple sizes smaller, so I've pre-drilled some smaller pilot holes, just three. So, about to drill these and then tap this thing. This one's giving me some trouble. I've started to tap crooked a few times. I'm trying one more time. These two, these two worked out good. So, <clears throat> see if I can't fix this somehow. Got a couple studs that'll fit these new uh, threads I just, these new uh, holes I just tapped. I only got two washers, I'll get another one later. Um, so let's get this thing mounted. Here we go.
All right. Here's some cuts we made tonight. Uh, didn't do as well as I'd liked. I know it's uh, got some work to do on it, but it's almost there. Um, I was looking to cut some slats, three quarter inch slats, and it cut a couple tapers stemming from this issue here. Big wobble, of course, bushing. Need a bushing there so this can tighten down. Um, here's some of the, uh, here's some of the throwaways. You can see that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You see how it tapers down a real thin up top. But, I'm glad I got it mounted tonight. It's going to be a lot safer using this thing than standing behind a, uh, a big powerful table saw. I'm going to order some new wheels. Make a couple tweaks, figure out how to use this thing the right way, and we'll put it in in, uh, in service here. There it is, For, Forest City Tool Company, automatic feeders, some gears, speeds, directions. Made in Italy. It thinks stout now. It's heavy. It's a it's a beast to moving around. Real pain, but I'm gonna like it. You keep getting it cleaned up. I make a bunch of port swings and this is gonna be a uh yeah you can even see some of this one this one's got a little this one's tapered too tapered to use but i'll get it right thanks for watching let me know if anybody has any uh any advice on setting up power feeders or ordering wheels i'm gonna go on mcmaster car order some wheels This needs to be tweaked a little bit in this thing. It's heavy duty, that's for sure. It's heavy. So, yeah, let me know what, what uh, any advice, let me know if anybody knows anything. Thanks for watching.